I think it's important as an engineer to see the impacts of your work um, because I think engineers, we all have good intentions, but good intentions don't always translate well to a product that works for everyone. So being in the field, talking to people, talking to the stakeholders, and seeing uh, your designs in action, like that is the way that you're going to know that you're, you're doing good work. Problems that we're facing with respect to climate change and sustainability are so acute and so pervasive and so urgent that there's, no, there's really no time to, to waste on hypothetical or theoretical or academic solutions. We need to go rapidly from uh, the basics to the application. And one of the best ways to do that is just, just immerse people into, uh, into these problems and at an early phase. We also have social justice issues. We have quite a lot of health issues uh, that is facing their generation. So we continuously reevaluate our curriculum and design new courses, uh, bring in new contents into existing courses to train the students to face real world problems. We're definitely seeing a lot more engineering professors and students who want the full picture, who want to understand the social issues, who want to work with people from other disciplines. It's definitely like I can feel, I can feel the, the tone shifting in that way. There's so much to solve, so many challenges, so many wicked problems facing our world. And we consider Philadelphia our living laboratory. Senior Design is a project that senior uh, engineering students embark on over the course of the nine months of their last year. This is like the nexus of your education. So our Senior Design project is working on addressing the extreme heat in Hunting Park. Esperanza is a community organization and they are, have a lot of initiatives right now that are addressing extreme heat. Um, so we kind of um, partnered up with them and, and they acted as our client for Senior Design um, to help them figure out quantitatively how different heat mitigation strategies would work on a block in Hunting Park. Like vegetation, um, shade structures, uh, pavement wetting, um, and cool roofs. We are modeling just one block, but we're hoping that this will be empowering for the community to understand like how these heat mitigation strategies could also work on their blocks. Just learning like the complexity of of urban planning and, and climate change and environmentalism and uh, community organizing. I've really benefited from, from getting all of these different perspectives. Drexel, as a co-op school, our students in general have a very practical set of experiences. So in addition to the classroom learning, they're getting two or three co-ops. And those two or three co-ops are introducing them very early uh, to real-world constraints. So it's one thing you learn in school, it's another thing that you do in, in the field, and they're learning those two things in parallel. My first co-op, um, I went into uh, working at the oil refinery, Philadelphia Energy Solutions, which is like one of the biggest ones on the East Coast. So my first co-op ended up working for the city of Philadelphia's real estate team where we assessed their current buildings and located new buildings for the city to purchase. I was really excited to get my next position, which was at a, um, a engineering design firm. My second co-op was with UN Cole in their fire protection engineering team. And when my third co-op came around, I went to Wick Fisher White because they had a position for building automation systems, which was something that I was newly interested in. Co-op is Drexel's difference maker they often come back and say, it wasn't just the doing of my tasks, but it was I learned how to work with people, different people, people with different degrees, different backgrounds, different generations. And for that, the students are better educated about not just what it means to do engineering tasks, but how to be an engineer. I really tried to use my three co-ops to do three different, very different things uh, to get a sense of what it was I wanted to do going forward. You can learn what you like and what you don't like as well. Um, that's just as important. And I feel more well-equipped to go to job interviews, for example, and actually like going through the phases of getting a job. I think I have more connections um, to different industries. Very few universities do what we do at the scale and the scope of what we do. One other form of experiential learning is getting involved in research. And here at Drexel, we have world-class research. 
We are a R1 institution, which means it's a Carnegie uh, classification that says we are one of the highest performing research universities in the country. My research team has been uh, richly funded in the past years by, say, uh, National Science Foundation and also Department of Energy, focusing on developing new smart building technologies. We're working with a couple other universities, Clemson University, Texas A&M University, and then Pacific Northwest National Lab, where it's a um, Internet of Things sensor uh, project making these sensors with a lesser cost barrier than some of the sensors out on the market. We are uh, very proud of uh, being the force uh, pushing the forefront of scientific findings and being the forefront of generating new toys for the engineers to uh, improve their work efficiency, uh, battle climate change. I think also uh, bring a much better and a brighter future for human society.